everyone, this is May. I'm here at ZenkaiCon with Sarah Wiedenheff. She's known for Dragon Ball Super, Dragon Maid, and of course the classic Hoonie Pop. How are you enjoying the con? <laughs> I'm having a great time, actually. <laughs> it's good to hear. Uh, do you do a lot of cons? Um, this is actually my second con that I've guested at um, so far, but I, there are several others that I am going to be doing this year, too. So, yeah, I've just been dipping my feet in and starting out. <laughs> Awesome. Fun. Well, we're looking forward to seeing you at those. Now, at a con, you probably see a lot of people in costumes, some very extravagant stuff. What do you think of these cosplayers? Uh, I love it, actually. Uh, I mean, when I was younger, I used to uh, love dressing up and everything, too. Like, sometimes I still kind of do it, but uh, not as often. I kind of want to do that again. So. Well, if you were to come to a con and cosplay, who would you want to cosplay? Hmm, good question. Huh. I kind of want to, I definitely kind of want to do Toru. That would be fun. Uh, maybe um, also like Sailor Moon or like Princess Serenity. That's the classics. <laughs> yeah. So in your voice acting career, have you had a, the most challenging role, would you say? Uh, the most challenging one. Let's see. Uh, that one's a hard one. <laughs> I'm trying to think. Let's see. Um... Hmm. Maybe Grimgar or like uh, Shihoru from Grimgar at some points because like uh, she she was like a little uh, shy most of the time. Um, But then she would have those moments where she would just burst out and become like this this sad little blob of existence. (laughs) And so it was kind of. I don't know how I felt about that too. Like, actually, like when there was a character that she was in love with and he died, and I was like, at the same time, I was like broken about it too. Like, I started crying before I even started to, like, I needed to do it. And it was like, that was too much. <laughs> but um, I, I can't say that I had like too many challenges so far, but um, it's always. It's it's always challenging to, having to cry <laughs> at all for for anime characters, especially or scream. That, especially if you have, like, something afterwards that you needed it to, Ugh, it's rough on the vocal. Is there a, uh, a special thing you do to protect your voice? <laughs> yes, I use the special ointment. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, uh, I usually, like, I just I try to just drink water and drink uh, some, some tea. Uh, there's also this, I don't know what to call it, but it's like a Chinese throat coat of sorts that you can take. They say like you can put like a tablespoon of it in your your in like hot water or something and drink it that way, but that's like the worst thing in the world for me. Like you want to spend a whole cup of water drinking that? No, like you got to down that in one go, <laughs> no matter how bad it is. Shots, yeah. do shots. Oh, also, um, like a lot of people will do the salt water uh, trick. Like if you're ever like feeling like any discomfort in your throat, you just gargle uh, salt water, warm salt water, and it should uh, help whatever's going on in there. Now, have you received any negative attention from doing Hoonie Pop? <laughs> from Hoonie Pop? <laughs> uh, I haven't really gotten too much, honestly. Um, I mean, uh, I've gotten a few pictures of people drawing her like that and wanted me to sign it. That's But that's about it so far. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm glad the community is, is treating you well. Yeah. So where can people find you on social media? Um, I am on Twitter. I'm um, I'm mostly on Twitter, uh, making random golden memes, uh, <laughs> and then Facebook. And what else? Uh, I do also have a website um, that you could uh, contact me with work only stuff on my emails. And there's also a little forum that you could comment on too. Okay. So three quick fun questions. Mm-hmm. If you could travel anywhere in time and you know spend a bit of time there, not live there, yeah. where would you want to be? Um, well, I would probably go back to the time when I was in, uh, Denmark and Roskilla in the summer school. Uh, that's when I was studying abroad there, but it's just like every time I'm in that country, it's just, it's just amazing. The food's amazing. The people are cool and just, yeah. <laughs> Any artist, living or dead, you could spend an hour with speaking with? Who would you pick? Oh, no, that's a hard one. Oh! All right, let's see. Who? Hmm. Out of every... Ooh, you know what? Probably Jim Carrey. I love him. He's so freaking funny. 
He's gotten a little interesting lately. Yeah, I mean, he's always been interesting. I mean, he's always been like this kooky person in general. <laughs> and what's your favorite candy so people can bring it to you at cons? Oh, oh my gosh. I really like warheads. I love anything that like just destroys my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the, the, the suffering juice. Yes. <laughs> bring me the suffering nectar. <laughs> Thank you for spending time with us today. It has been a pleasure. Thank you. And everyone, thanks for watching. And as always, have fun and cosplay on. Hi, thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and share. And we love to read your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell icon to get notifications of our new videos. Thanks again, and we'll see you on the con floor.